Okay, so I um, am going to, this is one, part 1 1.5 or part 2, however you want to look at it. What I'm going to do now is do the crispy skin. It is Wednesday evening. I figure you can, I'll do this ahead of time so I'm not in a rush tomorrow morning. Um, but I've got everything prepared, prepared. What I'm going to do also is cook, bake some bacon while I crisp the skin since the temperature is about the same and I'll have bacon for breakfast and I'll have some bacon to put on the turkey and when I finish the turkey yet I'm going to take it out of the sous vide bag bag I'm going to wrap it in bacon but in case that gets all screwy I'll have actual crispy bacon to put on top or with it um, so what I've done is this is actually really clever uh, as far as crispy skin part is and this is why I love serious eats and Kenji uh, Lopez is that he said to take parchment paper and two baking sheets, which conveniently I have and have not used very much, um, take parchment paper and sand two pieces of parchment paper, sandwich the skin between the parchment paper, uh, that way it doesn't stick to anything, in between the two sheets of baking sheets. And that weight is gonna keep it flat and should crisp really well, especially these are really nice pans. And, um, but the pro tip is parchment paper. And I wish I had used this more years ago. I use it almost all the time now, no, all the time now to make, uh, to grill fish. Because uh, if anyone that's grilled fish knows it always invariably sticks and falls apart on the grill surface. And I, I use griddle, um, but it still sticks. Um, but using parchment paper, I always thought this stuff would spontaneously combust on top of a grill, but if you don't set it wicked high, even at 500 degrees, it, uh, it burns, but it doesn't it, it combust into flames. And more importantly, your, your fish does not stick to it, and it makes life so much easier. And so I use this all the time. The other pro tip is just to buy it from Costco. One of the reasons why I didn't use to buy it before, because it was expensive. But buy from Costco, you get a two pack, it's massive quantities. But this is what I've already prepared. I've got the bacon already laid out in the sheet. Um, there's two camps of thought, putting the bacon in cold oven or preheating the oven. Honestly, I don't think it makes a difference. Uh, I think it's just, um, it doesn't make a difference. So this is what I've got. I've got the skin, whoa. Control the camera there. I got the skin on the baking sheet with the parchment paper seasoned on both sides. And I've got, oh, I reserved four or five slices of bacon for, to put on top of the turkey breast. I'm gonna take it out of the bath and then I'm just gonna throw this in. And the parchment paper, ready to go. So what I'm gonna do here is lay it on top and then put my sheet on top oh. and the even better is that they're a pair so they they fit perfectly and you flip the camera and yeah so I'm gonna go put this in the oven and see you guys in about 30 to 40 minutes that's hot 400 degrees by the way Okay, this is just progress check. This is the bacon at 23 minutes. Pretty good, a little bit uneven baking, but man, this stuff shrunk down quite a bit. The uh, skin has seven minutes to go for 30 minutes. Okay, so we're gonna try to do this without uh, burning my hands, which I could totally see myself burning my hands. I'm actually very excited to see how this turns out. So I kind of want to show you guys. We can discover this together. The grand reveal. It can go with probably 10 more minutes. A little more time. Oh well. 
Okay, actually, I split the difference. It's about five minutes since it tends to cook exponentially. Once we're going to it's hot, like the bacon does. Let's see how this looks. Ooh, looks pretty good. I think I'll leave it. Don't heat that. Yeah, I think I'll just leave it. It's not as hard and crackly as I'd want, but eh, we'll go back in for another couple of minutes. All right, we're trying again. This is a total of 40 minutes. Oh, I think this is it because I'm going to call it quits after this. Okay, that's what we're going to leave it at. Love it, like it or love it. It did shrink and it's pretty brown all the way around. Not as crispy as I wanted, but it is what it is.